Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Albo1125 and today we are going to be having a look at how we can install LSPDFR plugins and call out plugins for LSPDFR. So this video is going to be part of my Learn GTA 5 modding Albo's Way playlist, a link for which can be found in the description below. We are going to be starting off right where we left off in the last episode, um, so if you haven't followed that yet, make sure to check that one out too. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as we can see, I am currently on the Assorted Callouts download page, and from the name we can pretty much see that this is a callouts plugin. However, if we want to be sure that this is actually an LSPDFR plugin, um, what we can do is we can go over to the file information up over here, and a very telltale sign of seeing if something is an LSPDFR plugin or not is to check the users LSPDFR API thing. If that is something else than none, then you are pretty sure that this is an LSPDFR plugin. Um, in addition to that, you can now sometimes see the script slash plugin type, which they have added very recently, and we can see that it is an LSPDFR callout plugin. So that basically means that it is also an LSPDFR plugin. But if this isn't here, you can always check by looking at this. If this is something other than none, then it is an LSPDFR plugin. And you know you have to install it in the way that we're going to be looking at right now. So now that we have pretty much identified it as an LSPDFR plugin, we are going to click download this file and we're going to download the latest version that is available. So this is the old version, 0.1.2. We are going to get the new version, 0.6.3, by clicking the download button. And you might have to complete a small capture just by clicking that for me, that will do. We're going to click download, and we're going to download it right over into our GTA 5 mods directory. Um, but because we are now dealing with a new kind of plugin, which is an LSPDFR plugin, we're going to create a new uh, folder and we're going to call it LSPDFR Plugins, just like that. And that is to um, be able to distinguish between standalone language plugin plugins and LSPDFR plugins, which is going to be quite important once you start getting a lot of mods. So we're going to get it right over into this folder that we just created. We're going to click Save, and it's going to download. And we're going to click uh, the download, and it's going to open in WinRAR. We are going to extract it right into that folder. And then we're going to go into that folder, so we are now in the GTA 5 mods downloads folder. We're going to go into the newly created LSPDFR plugins folder, into the assorted callouts folder, and going into there again. And the first thing that we always have to do, of course, is open the README. And as you can see, we have some general information up over here at the top. And another very telltale sign that this is an LSPDFR plugin is the fact that the installation part of the README tells us right up over here, Assorted Callouts is automatically started when you go on duty, you must not load it yourself. So you might remember that with the Rage Plugin Hook uh, plugins that were standalone, we had to load them via the console or add them to the Rage Plugin Hook startup settings. With LSPDFR plugins, this is not the case. As you can see, all we need to do is we need to go on duty, and after that, it'll load automatically. So we do not have to make any attempt uh, to load it ourselves. And if you try doing that, it is going to mess it up. So make sure you keep that in mind. We will see how we can put that into practice right now. So in terms of the rest of the installation instructions, they are pretty much standard. We just copy and paste all the files into our own GTA 5 directory, as is the case with all of my modifications. So we can close that, we can go into the files right up over here, Grand Theft Auto V, and firstly we're going to have a look at another very telltale sign of this actually being an LSPDFR plugin. Once we go into the files, um, we remember that um, with standard language plugin plugins, all of the DLL files were located inside the Grand Theft Auto V slash plugins folder. But as we can see with this assorted callouts plugin, which is an LSPDFR plugin, they are now not located inside the plugins folder, but inside the plugins slash LSPDFR folder. As we can see, we are in plugins slash LSPDFR, and over here we have the assorted callouts.dll and .ini. So if they are located in GTA 5 slash plugins slash LSPDFR, you know that this is going to be an LSPDFR plugin and that it will load automatically once you go on duty with LSPDFR. So now we're going to install all of these files as we did before. Uh, we're going to click Ctrl A on our keyboard. Uh, we're going to right click and select copy or press Ctrl C, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to go over back into our real Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. What we can now do is we can right click and select paste or we can click Ctrl V on our keyboard. And if you are prompted, make sure to replace the files in the destination, right like that, so it will replace all the files that are already there with the newer ones. And as you can see, we have now got all of these new files, so just to check if we have installed it properly, 
we will go over into plugins uh, slash lspdfr as you can see it is not located over here it's located inside the lspdfr folder and we can see that we now have the assorted callouts.dll installed uh, as we expected it to be done so all we need to do now is we need to go over into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and to run assorted callouts we need to go into rageblunganook.exe right like that and we're going to be asked if we want to unblock the files of course we are going to click yes and right now we are just going to let our game launch so I will cut over to you once we get into the actual game so as you can see now we are now in the loading screen of rageblunganook and we are loading the plugin lspd first response as we can see, we are not loading any kind of assorted callouts plugin, we are only loading the LSBD first response plugin. So we should go into game very shortly now. And there we go, we are now in the game, and as we saw previously, we had LSBDFR already loaded inside the loading screen, because in the last episode we set that to load automatically. So, as you can see, LSBDFR has been loaded, and now we're going to go on duty, as you might remember from the episode 1. Um, there were three ways to go on duty. Right now we are just going to type force duty because we are going to be doing it pretty quickly just to see if it actually works. I'm going to type force duty like that and it's going to run. And we can close the console and um, all the messages about plugins loading should start popping up in the bottom left. There we go. Assorted callouts developed by Albo1125 has been loaded successfully. So, as you can see, we didn't have to load it separately at all. All we had to do was load LSPDFR and go on duty and it was loaded automatically, it is now running, and uh, we can get assorted callouts running. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install another LSPDFR plugin called Res Manager. Before we do that, what we need to do is we need to open the console and we're going to do unload plugin LSPD first response, just like that, because we are going to see that now we can also install plugins without actually having to reload the game. So make sure you unload the plugin LSPD first response .dll, and then we're going to go right over to the Arrest Manager download process and installation process right now. Now we're going to have a look at how we can install another LSPDFR plugin that is not a callouts plugin, um, but is still an LSPDFR plugin, and that is Arrest Manager. So we're going to go through it pretty quickly so we can all see how we can install these kinds of plugins very easily and quickly, and put the theory that we just learned into practice. So the first thing we need to do, how do we know that this is an LSPDFR plugin? We go into the file information, we look at the user's LSBDFR API field, and as we can see, that is 0.3b. So now we know that it is an LSBDFR plugin, and as we can even see, it has a filter called LSBDFR plugin, which we can also see it by as well. So what we can do now is we can download this file. Uh, we're going to download the newest version, so not the old version, the newest version. We click the download button, and it's going to take a few seconds to start the download. We're going to put it over inside our LSBDFR plugins folder, um, well, exactly where we put the assorted callouts download as well, because it is an LSPDFR plugin, a rest manager is, so we're going to click save, it's going to download, and we're going to open it with our WinRAR program, and we're going to extract the files into this folder. So as you can see, we are now in the GTA 5 mods download, we're going to go into our LSPDFR plugins folder, and then we're going to go into a rest manager, a rest manager again, and the first thing that we always should do, even when installing plugins quickly, is take a look at the readme. As you can see, we have the general version information over there at the top, uh, and the installation. Um, as we can see, again, we have Arrest Manager is automatically started. When you go on duty, you must not load it yourself. So that is another very telltale sign of it being an LSPDFR plugin as well. And as you can see, the rest of the installation instructions are basically the same as most of our other modifications. Just drag and drop the files into your own GTA 5 folder, and it'll just work. Um, because I have structured the files correctly in the download for your convenience. So we are going to go into our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. As we can quickly see, we can check again that it is an LSPDFR plugin because the arrestmanager.dll is located in Grand Theft Auto 5 slash plugins slash LSPDFR. As we learned previously, that is a very total sign of it being an LSPDFR plugin as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these files by pressing Ctrl A, right clicking and pressing copy, or alternatively pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard. We're going to go over into our real Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, right up over here. And once we are in our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, we're going to right click and select paste, or we can press Ctrl V on our keyboard. Uh, it's going to say that there are files with the same names, that is all good. So we're going to replace the files in the destination, and it's going to copy over just like that. Um, and just to check that we have installed it properly, we can go over into plugins slash LSPDFR. 
And as you can see here, we have arrestmanager.dll and arrestmanager.ini all installed very nicely inside the plugin slash lspdf file folder right where it belongs. So because now we have still got the game open and running because we installed a sorted call as previously and we left the game open, uh, we can now just go back over into the game just like this. And what we can do is we can press F4 and we can type uh, load plugin LSPD first response just like that right again. And what it'll do when we type that is it'll load the LSPD first response plugin and it'll also load all the files that are now in the plugins slash LSPD file folder. So that includes all of the ones that are in there right now and that also includes resmanager.dll. So once we go back into the game and we type force duty into the console, just like that, it's gonna do its thing and the pop-ups in the bottom left so chart popping up uh, saying that a risk manager has been loaded successfully. There we go and assorted callouts has also been loaded successfully. So as you can see now we have installed a LSPDFR plugin without actually having to reload the game and we've done it really quickly. Um, so this is the technique that you can use to install LSPDFR plugins really quickly without having to reload your game. And that completely covers how to install LSPDFR plugins and how to install callout plugins for LSPDFR. So please do make sure to always read the readme of a modification that you download because there may be a few custom steps that you have to complete to install a modification completely if that modification, for example, is very complicated. And with that being said, everybody, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like down below. If you'd like to stay up to date with my future content, please consider subscribing as well. And if you'd like to see more of my Learn GTA 5 Modding Albers Way tutorials, there's going to be a playlist on screen right now that you can click and there are going to be a lot of videos in there that have a lot of useful tips and tricks and show you exactly how I mod my game from the ground up without any technical experience. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.